Fight commentary breakdowns here. Let's look at some epic techniques. First guy. So. Whoa. Yeah. He missed. Whoa. Look at that. He missed the top of the bag again. But I think he's dancing. Is this a dance or is this actually? Yeah, I think this is more like Russian ballerina dancing. Trying to be kung fu in the process. He almost fell. Don't drink too much vodka. Look at that. Yeah, I think this is the dance because he, did, it's really funny. See, he misses that. He doesn't even get, unless he's trying to punch down, he's trying to hit the top of the bag. I have no idea. But guys, don't drink vodka when you train kung fu and ballerina. Russian ballerinas are beautiful, by the way. This guy almost looks like he has a mask. Like, that's not him, but this is actually his face. So, look at this. Looks like he's wearing an old man mask, but no. What is that on his head, by the way? I will stick that finger in. Dude, I love the suspenders, by the way. Very weak elbow. You know, he, he could. Oh, I love that. He said he did a Three Stooges move. Watch that. Three Stooges move, right? Fuck. Well, thank you, dumbass martial arts, for providing this video. But let's watch that again. Watch this. So what's the lesson people learn fighting from the Three Stooges? Swingly! So now we have a fat guy here. Look at his epic techniques. He pulls up his pants, of course, like all experts. Wow. Swinging those arms. Either his arms are really short or his sweater's just really big, but I don't see any reach in his arms. He's like, yeah, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Okay. Um, let's just let's just watch him. I guess he's trying to throw haymakers, but Look at look at those haymakers he's throwing. <laughs> it's very interesting. He's trying to use his peripheral vision. It's a lot of Wing Chun masters when they're doing the chi sao. They they try to they try to use their peripheral vision like that. But I don't think he's doing Wing Chun. So what's the lesson people? Normally people who need to pull up their pants, right? They're usually not experts because you know to wear a belt. So this next one is definitely going to get you killed. So do not follow this. I mean, don't follow any of these, but don't follow this. This is how to defend yourself against a shotgun or a rifle. So Asian guy is not the tutor. He's not the teacher. He's just the uki. So here's our fat guy right here teaching. Go in there and then grab the gun away from him. Look at that. He assumes he can just like step in there before he gets shot. So, all right. You're shot already. Sorry, fat guy. So, yeah, you wouldn't have been able to, no matter, even if you were skinny, you wouldn't have enough time to go in there. So, it's absolutely ridiculous. This will get you killed. And so, let's, let's see if he has any more techniques. Oh, this is, so just teaching you how to how to grab the gun of course you know when they teach these tutorials it's always on opponents that don't resist at all right trying to grab a gun away from a robber he's gonna probably resist you even if you manage to close the range but it's it's just so funny you're this far away boom you're already dead but no he thinks he can you know he, he thinks maybe the gravitational field of his body is going to cause the bullet to circle around him instead of hit him i don't know so this next guy took inspiration from Homer Simpson. Let's watch this. There's an episode of The Simpsons where Homer teaches Bart to jump onto like this, jump onto the punching bag and bite. Of course, this guy's not biting. This guy's downward chopping, or I guess in this case, sideways chopping with the heel of his foot. I love how he just assumes he can cling on like this. It's really funny. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, no, you're not fighting a person who's being hung by a rope. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. I believe this guy's trolling, but let's watch. Check out this move. He's going to do that Bruce Lee move in Enter the Dragon where he stomps on the guy. And now look at him. 
He's screaming if you guys can't hear, but look at him. Look at those sloppy arms. <laughs> he almost fell. He, he's drunk, man. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> look at that guy walking by. I'm like, <laughs> oh, wow, that's pretty good. Front handspring. Now he's got himself dizzy. Oh, now he's dancing. Yeah, this guy's trolling. This guy's definitely trolling. Ooh. Split. Another split. Kip up. Ow. Couldn't do it. <laughs> okay. I think the funniest moment was, let's get to the point where, right here, he's like doing all these fancy things. This guy's just walking by like, what the fuck's your problem? <laughs> Those arms. Okay. Um, there's only one Bruce Lee. So don't try to be Bruce Lee. Try to improve on the craft, which is what he wanted. So this next one, this is some pressure point touch knockout bullshit. So let's watch. You're knocked out like that. You're knocked out like that. Look at those pressure points, man. Where are those pressure points? I want to find it. You reverse the mount. Pressure point. Look at that. Whoa, pressure point. Oh, he is gone. A little snap knocked him out. Pressure points, man. It's all about pressure points, baby. Pressure points, man. You know, use that on your wife and, you know, in the morning or something like that. I don't know what the fuck that comment was about. But look at that pressure point right there. That was kind of like the drunk Sistema punch that you just saw. He didn't even, he didn't even hit anything. Whoa, 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 guys, guys, watch that. He didn't even hit anything. What the fuck was that? Wait, look at that. You didn't even hit a pressure point. You literally just grazed him. <laughs> okay, yeah. Try that, man. Try that on an MMA fighter. Just try that on any person who watches this channel who doesn't believe. And let's see if you can do that. So we got this guy demonstrating to you close quarters alley combat. He's got an epic beer, though. Ooh. Bam. Lean against the wall. There comes his knife. Are you fighting the wall, or are you fighting someone? Looks like you're hitting the wall more. So now, now you're fighting two people? Why'd you have to go that side? I thought the person was facing you. This one's not really funny. It's just like, eh. Why are you why are you holding your knife there? He held an open knife in between his arms. Like in, in that I don't know what that was. Oh, here he comes again. Why do you have to bump the wall? You're not bumping off the wall as a pushing thing. You're just like hitting the wall for no reason. Look, you see that? I don't get that move. Wait, 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 wait. What is, what is, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh my God. What is, you see that? Do you see that right there? Why, why did you put the open blade like in between in that crevice, I don't know what that, that joint's called. Uh, he did it again, you see? Yeah, again, what the fuck is this? Uh, whatever. Can't explain these people. So we've shown examples of senseis abusing their students. Here's another one. This one's just horrible. Watch. Ow. Well, he's like, oh my God, I'm a sensei. I'm going to throw my little student. This guy's a teen. This little kid's a teen, okay? God damn it, man. Show some fucking restraint. You're the black belt here. Oh my God, I'm such an amazing judo person. Oh, you're going to just... 
garbage. I I can't watch this anymore. But guys, if you're if you're a higher rank, please don't abuse your students like this. Let's just watch that one last time, just to pound this shit in. He he thinks he's such an expert. He's like, I could throw a little kid. Fuck, man. Break someone's dislocate someone's arm. Okay, guys. I think we explored a lot of crazy, silly, delusional trolls, etc. in this video. Leave a comment, press a like, and keep sending clips my way. Thank you guys so much. This was Fight Commentary Breakdown. We have another cooler outro coming soon, so look forward to that. Bye-bye.